For the self-coders among you, I have here a blank notebook and uh, the project brief for project number four, merging, cleaning and transforming data. And uh, we are starting with uh, the clean data set, uh, moviescleancsv that we prepared in the previous project. And uh, the plan is now to add uh, the additional features, cast and crew that are stored in the second file. So it's uh, the credits.csv uh, file. And first of all, as always, uh, you should load and inspect uh, the two data sets. And uh, you should also be able to identify stringified or nested uh, JSON columns in uh, the credits data set. And uh, before we can join or merge uh, the data sets, first of all, you should uh, drop uh, the duplicates in uh, the credits data set as well. And uh, then it's time to merge or join uh, both data sets. And essentially, you should add uh, the columns or the features, cast and crew to uh, the movie's uh, clean data set. And uh, you will find um, those two features in uh, the credits data set. And once we have merged or joined the two data sets, then we have to clean and transform the cast and uh, the crew column. So this is uh, pretty similar to the previous uh, project. And uh, first of all, you have to evaluate uh, the Python, uh, the actual Python expressions in uh, the stringified column cast and remove the quotes. And uh, then you have to determine the cast size and uh, at uh, the additional column cast size, so the number of actors uh, per movie. And then you should also extract all actor names uh, from the cast column and override cast. So if a movie has more than one actor, then you should uh, separate the names by a pipe. And for example, the movie Toy Story should have uh, the following value in uh, the final cast column. So it should be the string Tom Hanks, Pipe, Tim Allen, Pipe, and so on. So we have uh, quite a few actors here. And also here you should uh, finally inspect cast uh, with value counts. And uh, maybe you can see anything strange and uh, take uh, reasonable measures or actions. And uh, the same you should also do for the crew column. So you should first of all evaluate uh, the actual Python expression and uh, remove the quotes and then uh, determine the crew size and add uh, the additional column crew size. And finally, you should extract uh, the director name from the column crew and uh, create uh, the additional column director. And also here we have an example. So for Toy Story, the director is uh, John Lasseter. Last but not least, uh, you should drop uh, the crew column and save uh, the final data set in a new CSV file. And also here, as always, you can find uh, some hints here below. So have fun with uh, this project and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the videos. Bye. All right, we have our cleaned uh, movies data set in place, moviesclean.csv. Uh, and uh, we import and uh, save uh, the data set in the variable df and we make sure that uh, the release date is actually a date time column. So we should be already familiar with uh, this data frame and data set here. And uh, then coming from another data source, we have the data set credits containing information on the movies, uh, cast and uh, crew. And uh, let's also import this data set and uh, save it in the variable credits. So here we have the cast and the crew and also the movie ID. And uh, this is essentially, or uh, this should be the very same movie ideas as above in our other data frame. So this is actually the column that uh, we can use uh, to merge uh, both data frames later on. But uh, first of all, let's have a look here. And also here we can see that uh, we have kind of a stringified uh, JSON or nested uh, JSON data here in cast and crew. And also this data set is originally coming from uh, JSON. And uh, let's get some meta information with info. And uh, here we have slightly more rows or more movies uh, than above. But uh, this is actually no surprise as uh, before here with our movies data set, we actually removed uh, some rows and uh, some movies. So finally, let's have a look at uh, one element in the cast and uh, the crew column. 
And also here we are faced with uh, the very same problem as before. We have uh, stringified JSON data and we have uh, double quotes here inside. So this is actually not a valid uh, JSON format. And also in the crew we have uh, stringified data and therefore we will also have to do some uh, data cleaning and uh, converting. So, but for the time being, we have finished now the very first inspection and the data import and uh, see you also in the next lecture. Bye. Before we have seen that we have nested data in the columns, the cast and crew, and either we can uh, clean this before we merge uh, both data frames or afterwards. And uh, we can do both, but uh, let's decide to do this after having merged the data into uh, one data frame. And uh, the plan is now to add the columns cast and crew to our movies data frame and uh, create uh, two new columns of features. And it's uh, good to have uh, the movie ID in uh, both the data frames or data sets. So it should be pretty straightforward to add the cast and crew of, for example, the movie with ID 862 uh, to the corresponding uh, movie or row in the other data frame. And uh, we should be able to do this uh, with a simple left join on the ID column. So we will see this in uh, more detail in the next lecture. But first of all, let's uh, focus on the ID column here in the credits data frame. So the ID column is pretty important and therefore we should uh, first of all analyze uh, the column. And let's recap that in the other data frame, we had to remove some duplicates. And also in the credit data frame, we should make sure that uh, we only have unique values in ID. So let's uh, check this. And also here we have uh, some duplicates and uh, this doesn't really make sense. And also here we can filter credits uh, for the duplicated uh, rows in terms of ID. And for instance, uh, we have here the first uh, pair of duplicates. So with uh, the very same movie ID, then here the second and so on. And again, with the drop duplicates, uh, we should make sure that we only keep uh, one instance, so the first by default, of uh, these pairs in our data frame credits. And uh, finally, let's make a cross check. So now we uh, shouldn't have any duplicates here, and uh, that's correct. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, see you also in the next lecture. Bye. Welcome back, we are ready for a left join and you might know this as a VLOOKUP in Excel. So the left data frame DF is actually the main data frame and for each and every row or movie in DF, we want to get the cast and the crew from the right data frame credits. But before it's always helpful to understand what's in the left and what's in the right data frame. And uh, first of all, we can check whether there are any movies in DF for which we do not have uh, cast and crew information in the credits data frame. So we check for all movie IDs whether they are not in uh, the credits uh, data frame. So tilde stands for not. And uh, then we filter DF for those movies. And let's have a look if we have any movies. And obviously we have uh, no movies here. And that means uh, that we will get the cast and the crew for all movies in our movies data set. Next, we can make uh, the check uh, the other way around. So we filter those movies uh, where we have uh, cast and crew data, but uh, no information in uh, DF. And obviously here we have uh, quite a few movies. In total, 741 movies that are in credits, but not in uh, DF. And actually, I can tell you that uh, these are exactly uh, those movies that we have dropped earlier from the movies data set for the one or the other reason. So everything is uh, reasonable here. And now we can perform our left join or left uh, merge with the merge method on the left data frame DF. And uh, we pass uh, credits as uh, the right data frame to the parameter right. Then we have to define how to merge and actually uh, we have uh, the choice between inner join, outer join, left join, right join, but here clearly this is a left join. And finally, and uh, that's uh, the most important step we can define on uh, which uh, columns to join. And actually it's no surprise uh, that you want to join on the movie ID. So we have in the left data frame, the column ID, so left on ID, and also in the right data frame, the column ID. So let's run the cell and let's overwrite DF. 
And we're actually adding uh, two more columns uh, to DF, cast and crew. And let's have a look here. So still we have uh, 44,691 Rosa movies, so this hasn't changed. But now we have uh, 20 columns and we can uh, find them here, the two additional columns on the right hand side. So here we have now cast and crew. And we can also have a final look uh, with uh, the info method. So we have uh, 20 columns and obviously here we have uh, no missing values. But of course, uh, we also have to clean and uh, transform cast and crew. And uh, that's exactly what we are going to do in the next uh, two lectures. So thanks for watching and uh, see you there. Bye. In this video, we are going to clean and flatten the new cast column. And actually most of the steps are similar to those in case two, where we cleaned uh, the stringified and nested JSON columns, uh, genre, production companies and more. And uh, therefore I will keep it short here. And uh, again, we import uh, the AST module and also NumPy. And let's have a look at the very first element in the cast column. So here we have a stringified uh, JSON data, so to say a stringified uh, list. And uh, we can extract uh, the list here with uh, the dictionaries inside with uh, literal eval. And uh, actually we apply on each and every element um, uh, the lambda function here. And before we have to check uh, whether the element is an instance of uh, the string class or not. So let's overwrite uh, the cast column. And uh, let's check uh, the first element. And uh, now this is uh, here uh, JSON data and uh, we have a list. And each and every element in the list is a dictionary with information on uh, the uh, respective character and uh, the actor name. So in this movie here, it's uh, just uh, the voice. So it's an animation movie, Toy Story. And actually for each and every movie, we can uh, convert uh, the information in the cast column into a separate data frame. So let's uh, pass here the first element for the first movie to pd.dataframe. And here we get a data frame with uh, quite ex extensive information on uh, the cast of uh, Toy Story 1. So in total we have uh, 30 actors or voices in this case. And uh, we have uh, the cast ID, the character, credit ID, gender, then uh, the actor's ID. And uh, this corresponds uh, to the actor name. And here we have uh, some order. And finally, uh, the profile path of uh, the actor. And actually, we could create uh, such data frame for each and every movie. So in total, we have over 45,000 movies. But uh, for our purposes, uh, we are not interested in all of the information here. So we are only interested in the actor names. And uh, we only want to get the actor names for each and every movie in a string separated by a pipe. But uh, first of all, we are also interested in the cast size and uh, we can create a new column cast size. And uh, we can determine the length of uh, the cast list with uh, a lambda function again. And uh, by doing so, we determine the cast size. And uh, let's analyze the column here. So let's have an example. So here for Toy Story, we have a cast size of 13, then for the next movie of uh, 26 and so on. And uh, let's also analyze uh, the new column with the value counts. So the most uh, common cast size is actually 10, then we have eight, seven and so on. So this uh, seems uh, reasonable. And as I said before, now we want to extract uh, the actor names uh, for each and every movie and actually store them in a string separated by a pipe. And uh, by doing so, we overwrite the cast column. And let's check again here. So here for Toy Story, we have Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Don Rickles, and so on. And we can also further check uh, with value counts. And obviously here the most frequent value is an empty string. And uh, we should replace this uh, with a missing value. 
And of course you can do this uh, with replace. And let's check again. This was uh, the cast column and in the next lecture we will clean and uh, flatten uh, the crew columns. So hope to see you there. Bye. In this video we are going to clean and flatten the new uh, crew column. And let's have a look at an example. And also here we have uh, stringified and nested data. And again we apply uh, literally well on each and every string to extract the data. Else we have a missing value if it's not a string. And we override uh, the crew column. And uh, let's again check it. So here we have now for each and every movie a list containing dictionaries. And each and every dictionary is actually a crew member. So here in the very first dictionary we have the director John Lasseter. Then in the next dictionary we have the job the screenplay and it's uh, Joss Whedon. And also here we can convert each and every element in the column into a data frame with uh, detailed information on uh, the crew. So for Toy Story we have in total a crew size of uh, 106 and uh, we have uh, the department, the gender, the idea, the job and uh, the name. So if you like we could extract around about uh, 45,000 uh, data frames with uh, crew information so for each and every movie but uh, for our purposes we are only interested in two things so in the crew size and in the director and uh, first of all we can get the crew size and create a new uh, column crew size and uh, we simply check the length of the crew list for each and every movie and uh, let's analyze crew size with value counts so the most frequent crew size is uh, 2, 3 and 1, so that's uh, pretty small productions. And actually we also have a crew size of 0, so this seems to be reasonable. And finally we want to get uh, the director or extract the director. And again let's have a look at uh, the data structure. So for each and every movie we have here a list and in the list uh, we have uh, dictionaries. And uh, in the dictionary there's actually one crew member and uh, we want to extract uh, this crew member and uh, the name of the crew member that is uh, the director. So we should actually iterate over the list and in case we find uh, the job director then we should take uh, the name, John Lasseter in this case. And uh, for this we need to create a user-defined function that we can apply to each and every element in the crew column. So the user-defined function get director. And as I said before, so we iterate over the list and uh, check uh, whether the job is director or not. And if it's director then we take the name. And uh, finally if we do not find any director then we return a missing value. So let's uh, define the user defined function and let's apply it on all elements in uh, the crew column. And uh, by doing so we create the new column director with uh, the director name. So let's check this. So here we have uh, John Lasseter, Joe Johnston and so on. And finally let's have a more detailed look uh, with the value counts. And uh, here we have over 700 missing values. Then uh, the most active or most uh, frequent uh, directors, John Ford, and uh, so on. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next lecture. Bye. All right, let's have a final inspection and let's have a look at the first two rows of movies. So we have uh, the ID, the title, and uh, many more features. And at the very end, uh, we have uh, the cast the cast size, uh, the crew size and the director and still we have uh, the uh, column crew with the nested data and uh, now we can uh, drop this column and also we could check again the meter information if everything is uh, reasonable or not and uh, this is actually the case here and uh, finally we can save and export our data for example 
to a CSV file, moviescomplete.csv. And uh, finally, after spending a couple of hours on importing, cleaning, and merging the data set, we are now ready for explanatory data analysis, uh, data presentation, machine learning, and uh, many more things. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next case. Bye.